today uh, we are going to learn menu strip and web browser too what is menu strip let's talk about it little bit the, the menu strip is a lot to create your menu for your application like here for example file edit with windows help all of them were created by menu strip and we will learn how to do that and it's also a uh, easy tool to uh, use uh, and uh, in toolbox find uh, menu strip and here menu strip like here and draw drag drag and drop it here first uh, we need to create our menus like here what we can create we can create file for example other one can be edit edit and the third one can be let's say help okay uh, as you see here in our visual uh, studio menu like the file has under file there are another menus like here we we'll create them also and also the new one has some the another menus like here so we will create all of them let's see how to do that under file let's create another uh, menus like you can say new and other one can be save and the third one can be exit okay like here for the new we can also create another menu click the new and type like here let's say file other one can be folder okay we created our first menu and let's see the other features here as you see like uh, the some menus they have icons here and also they have shortcuts shortcuts so also we can create our shortcuts and the icons like here it's also easy i will show you how to do that for example for the save menu you want to create a shortcut how you can do that here open the properties and click save here under the mix there is shortcut keys and shortcut keys true so it must be true firstly so let's create a shortcut for our save item click here and uh, choose for example control s is for shortcut right okay we created our shortcut for sorry it's uh, i think i didn't uh, wait mix yes here is now as you see this is our shortcut we have now shortcut for save item and it's also it's written here and if uh, also for exit you can also uh, create your shortcut and let's see something else for example what we can do we can change back color of item let's change it here for exit let's create a red one so it's exit okay what is next and also we can create an uh, icon like here right so for save for example to create icon we need to go to on properties and define the image here image is here so we we'll create an icon and click local resources import and in pictures i have my icon already i don't see icon here because it is not picture it's icon file so if i choose all files i can see my icon so okay create icon and click ok now as you see we have now icon also and also what is next let's check what we can we have also like for help uh, for help button if you come here if and click it you will see the other items like combo box separated and toolbox you can add like text box for help like here right so this is our text box also you can add and the combo box and also there is separated also let's see how separate is working separate is here as you see check and you can drag it here for example like this let's also just let and see it better file separated is not here i don't know let's not new item let's click here and separate it Change it, okay. 
separate to now is here and if you hit the stop button you will see like as you see separate is also here and you can drag it somewhere else maybe underneath for example okay it's underneath now let's see it as you see it's here okay and also how you can use for example items let's click for example exit and type uh, code for exit I click double click it and uh, for exit we can type a two codes for example exit code what we can say we can say application dot exit and then I click my exit button exit from my app for example file exit and it's working and okay let's do the next also what we can do we created a uh, for new on um, sub menus right so uh, that's all actually for ministry and now uh, we can uh, we can learn how we can create web browser also I want to show you a browser here under uh, ministry uh, for example if I click a uh, file and uh, I will open a new form and then I will go to the, uh, see how my web browser is working so let's uh, create our uh, Windows form first. I click at Windows form, form is OK. And when I click this one, it will uh, open my form uh, and I will, uh, I will create my web browser there. OK, let's click File. And here is, as you see, is File to Strip. You know, I think one click is here, created already. OK, let's create our other form. Uh, how I will create form to my form is equals new form to and I will say my form dot show I can also use show dialog but show is okay and I will say this dot type okay great so let's check how it's working. If I click File, New, and file, this is File. Yes, and I open my form too. And I in my form too, I want to uh, open my web browser. So let's go to the form two. Is here. Let's stop first, and then open the next one. So for this, you can also open. Okay, let's see web, how web browser is working. There is the browser, web browser is here, okay. <coughs> now as you see, the web browser it is like it's full screen here. How can I change it? If I click this button, we will see under in pen container. If I click under in pen container, it will you can resize as you like. But if you click here and that in pen container, it will open your uh, web browser a uh, full uh, full screen. So full screen is okay for me. And also, I want to add a button here to open my, my website. When I click my button, it will open my website. Okay, let's double click it and go to the code area. It's here, right? So, how I will open my website? I will say web browser dot navigate and I will type my website URL here. So, I will type HTTP www.facebook.com That's all. Let's check how it's working. File, new, again file, and the button. Yes, it's opening my website. That's all. See you in the next.